Welcome back everyone, Patrick here, moving on to another question dealing with elimination. So we have to solve each of these systems by elimination. So notice that these are in a more complex format. We've dealt with a format like this before when we dealt with the uh, substitution. So as I did in those videos, what you kind of want to do here is simplify everything first before getting into the actual algebra of the elimination. Okay, so you want to expand everything, collect like terms, and then have simple equations where you could run the elimination. Because running elimination from here, it's almost impossible to do. Okay, so let's first uh, simplify these. So starting with this first line, I'm going to distribute the 3 in. So we'd have 6x minus 3. And then we got the negative 1 here, distribute that. So we'd have minus y minus 6 equals negative 43, like that. And then the x and the y I'm going to keep on one side. So the 6x minus y stays here. The negative 3, negative 6, that's negative 9. When we bring that over, negative 43 plus 9 gives us 34. Okay, so this equation here simplifies to, um, or sorry, it's negative 34, my bad. Well, we gotta be careful here, All right? Negative 43 plus nine or plus three plus six would give us negative 34. Anyways, this simplifies to that right there. Both of those are the same thing. So I'm gonna take this and write it. Now I'm getting nervous that I missed a step. So let me just double check here that everything is all good. Yeah, it looks all good to me. All right, so this and that are the exact same thing. Now, what about this, um, this second one? Same thing, so we'll have 10 minus 15x minus 3 plus 3y equals 94, like that. Right, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 times negative y is positive 3y. So I'm going to keep all the x's on one side. So we'll have negative 15x plus 3y. And then we'll have 94. The negative 3 comes over, that becomes positive 3. The positive 10 comes over, that becomes negative 10. So we'd end up with 94 plus 3, which is 97, minus 10 would give us 87. So we'd end up with negative 15x plus 3y equals 87, like that. And actually, we can, um, yeah, it looks all good. We can simplify that because we could actually divide everything by 3. 87 divides by 3 smoothly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this by 3, this by 3, and then this by 3. So this would be negative 5x plus y. And then 87 divided by 3 gives us what? Uh, 29, right? Yeah. Like that. Okay, you don't necessarily have to. Okay, you could keep it as that. But uh, whenever I see something like that where everything can divide by a number, I usually take that opportunity. Okay, so this line and that, they're the exact same thing. And so now instead of this, I'm gonna put this line over here. And what's nice over here is that these already have the same coefficient in front. It's not exactly the same as negative one and positive one. But all that means is we just have to add these at this point to solve. Okay, so if you didn't do that, if you kept that at like negative 15x plus 3y is equal to 87, then you'd have to multiply this by 3 and then subtract them. So you would end up doing more work in that case. But in this case, we don't have to multiply anything. These are already opposites of each other. So we just have to add both of these right? Because negative y plus positive y would end up equaling zero. Those are going to cancel out. And then 6x plus negative 5x would just give us 1x 
and then negative 34 plus 29 would give us negative 5. So x is equal to negative 5. Okay, there's multiple ways to go about this. Just whichever way you're doing it, make sure you're getting that x value of, um, of negative 5 there. Now, if these were the same sign, like this was positive y, this was positive y, then we'd be subtracting these. So then we'd have 6x minus negative 5x, which would be like 6x plus 5x, which would give us 11x here. Then we'd have negative 34 minus 29. Okay, and that would give us negative 63 over here. But they're not the same, they're opposite signs. So we just have to add these. This plus that is that. This plus that is that. The x is already isolated, it's negative five. And then to solve for the corresponding y value, uh, we could plug it into one of the originals, but we already have it simplified here. So we could plug it into either or. I'm gonna plug it into the first one. Actually, it might have been better to plug it into the second one because the y is already positive there. But anyway, it's all good. Let's bring the negative y over. Let's bring the negative 34 over. So six times negative five is negative 30 plus 34. Y is equal to four. Okay, so the point of intersection between these, the answer to this is negative five and four. Okay, now what if you want to check your answers? Well, what you got to do is just plug in this x, this y value to both of these. Make sure left side is equal to the right side. So let's do these separately. So we'll have 3 bracket 2 times negative 5 minus 1. Be careful with the algebra here. Minus y plus 6. So we'll have 4 plus 6. And basically that has to equal negative 43. Okay, so let's work it through and see if that happens. 3, negative 10 minus 1, minus 4 plus 6 is 10. Uh, this would be negative 11. Work with the brackets first, minus 10. 3 times negative 11, negative 33. And we indeed end up getting the left side equaling. The right side. Okay, so the check pans out with the first equation. Now, what about the second? If we do a uh, second check with this one, we'd have 5, 2 minus 3 times negative 5. Be careful with all your brackets here, like that. Then we got minus 3, 1 minus y. Be careful, or actually, it's a positive anyway, so it's all good. But if this was a negative, right, you got to be careful, put that in brackets, it'd be minus negative something, and then those are turned into a positive. But it's just a positive four, so it's all good. Okay, so from here, let me just make sure I plugged everything in correctly. Yeah, it looks all good to me. So from here, let's see, does the left side equal the right side? So we'll have five, uh, two, negative three times negative five is positive 15 minus 3, 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Okay, so here we'll have 5, 2 plus 15 is 17. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9, like that. And then 50, or uh, 5 times 17 would give us 85, plus 9, and it indeed, left side is equal to the right side. Okay, so both equations pan out in the check, and so we could be pretty confident that that right there is the solution. So moving on to number two, same sort of thing. We got to take both of these lines here, and we have to simplify them. So I'm going to start with the first line, distribute that 4 in, so we'll have 16x minus 4 plus 2y minus 4 or uh, 2y, sorry. So we'll have 2y minus 4. That's going to be 21. Let's keep all of the numbers on one side and um, all of the x and y's on the other. So the 16x plus 2y. Oh, give me a sec here. Yeah, I'm going to keep on this side. 
negative 4, negative 4 I'll bring over, so we'll have 21 plus 4 plus 4. Okay, so we'll have 16x plus 2y is equal to uh, 29, like that. Would have been really nice if this was an even number because then we could divide everything by 2, but it's not. Okay, it's an odd number, so I'm going to just keep it like this. You can divide everything by 2 if you want, but we're actually going to be doing this by elimination, not by substitution. So you want to try to make sure that these are all integers here. Okay, so from here, yeah, there's nothing else we can do. So this first equation is equal to that. So I'm going to write that over here. 16x plus 2y is equal to 29. Okay, now let's figure out what that second equation simplifies to. So we have 18 minus 12x minus 2y is equal to negative 5. Both of these are negative here. We can keep them on this side. I'm going to bring them over just to make them positive. So we'll have 12x plus 2y. Then the negative 5 I'll bring over. So we'll have 18 plus 5. And freaking again... I'm going to end up with an odd number here. Again, it would have been nice to be able to divide everything by 2, but this is, uh, this is odd, so we'll just keep it. And just may, let me make sure that we got everything. Yeah, so it looks all good. So this second equation simplifies to that. So we'd have 12x. Actually, it's nice. It's pretty nice because we have two y's that are the same. So it's not too bad. We don't have to multiply anything in this case. We could just get rid of the y's right there. Okay, so we would, because they're the same sign, we're going to subtract this from that. So we'll have 16x minus 12x, which would give us 4x. 2y minus 2y gives us 0y. That goes away. 29 minus 3 gives us 6. So we have 4x is equal to 6. Divide by 4, divide by 4, x equals 3 over 2. So now what we can do is we could plug in this either for the first or the second equation. I'm going to plug it in to the second to solve for the corresponding y value. So it doesn't matter which one you do, but I'll plug it in over here to the second. So we end up with that. 12 times 3 over 2 would give us, what, 18, right? Because we'll have 12 over 1 times 3 over 2. You could say 2 goes into 12 6 times, and 6 times 3 is 18. Or you could just multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, then this simplifies to 18. Okay, so this here ends up being 18. And we got plus 2y equals 23. Bring the 18 over, 23 minus 18 gives us positive 5, y equals 5 over 2. Okay, so we got x equaling 3 over 2, we got y equaling 5 over 2. Okay, so we got fractions. This is another format you might see this in. That's the point of intersection. So let's check these. So the check is going to be kind of uh, hectic here but it shouldn't be too bad. Another thing you could do, you could convert these to decimals if your teacher allows it. And then you could just plug in decimals over here to check these, which would be easier. But in case your teacher wants you to work with fractions, let's do the work with the fractions. So uh, starting with the first one, we'd have 4, and then we'd have 4 times the x value, which is 3 over 2. Just be careful with all the steps here plus 2 bracket y, which is 5 over 2, minus 2, and all of that should equal 21. Okay, so what happens here? 4 times 3 over 2, 2 goes into 4 um, twice, and then 2 times 3 gives us 6, so we'd end up with 6 minus 1 over here, right? Or 4 times 1.5 is 6 over here, plus 2, 5 over 2 minus 2 is like 2 over 1, 2, 2, 5 over 2, or 2.5 minus 2 is just going to be 0.5. But to, um, to show the work, 2 times 2 is 4, 
two, one over two, like that. Okay, so this bracket ends up equaling one over two. Okay, let's keep it going. So four times six minus one, which is five, do the bracket first. Two times a half is just one. And notice that it does indeed check out because we'll have 20 plus one, 21 is equal to 21. Okay, so the check pans out with the first equation. Now with the second one, we'll have six, three minus two, now in brackets, the x value is three over two, minus two times five over two. Let's see if that equals negative five. So here notice the twos cancel out, which is nice. So we'd end up with six times three minus three, which will just be zero, and then these twos cancel out, so we just end up with negative five. So yeah, it does work out, because this would be zero, six times zero is zero, minus five, negative five is equal to negative five. All right, so that's how both of those checks are done. So this works out with both equations, so we could be pretty confident that that is the point of intersection.